hello everybody and welcome to another youtube video in the past two videos we've actually used excel and uh, spss respectively to actually model the concept of the binomial distribution the example that we use is actually the experiment of a football player trying to play a total of 12 penalties and uh, he has a 50 percent chance or we can say he has a one over two chance of scoring individual penalties we are assuming that this experiment is actually going to be following all the assumptions needed for a binomial experiment so if you haven't watched those two videos i'll actually suggest to watch that before watching this video in today's video we are going to be using r r studio to be specific to actually model the concept of the binomial distribution so we are going to be using more of code here because uh, this is not a drop down menu type of software like the SPSS and the R. So for us to be able to model the binomial distribution with R, we are going to be using two functions, what we we'll call the P binom and uh, the D binom. So the D binom is going to help us calculate individual probabilistic value attached to each of the events that we have in the experiment and the p binom is going to help us calculate the cumulative probabilities attached to uh the experiment as a whole so let's take this simple example the experiment was performed 12 times okay and the chance of him scoring a penalty is actually equals to one over two so what is the chance that he's going to be scoring exactly three penalties if i want to do that with um r i have to type uh d binom excuse me oh i come right here i type uh, d binom and it's bring out this thing uh then we can use in bracket then we start with x is equals to three uh we have the size that is uh, the size of the experiment that is 12 and then we have the probability prob or you can use p if you like and that is actually one of the two and once you click enter it gives you the chance that uh, exactly three penalties is going to be scored by this football player and that is a uh, 0.0537194 i can also try d binom uh then we can say x is actually equals to 10 you know then we can actually you know say size is equals to 12 and the probability let me use p right here is equals to one over two and it gives me the answer as a 0.0161328 so what if i need r to actually list the probabilistic value from zero down to 12 so what will i do it's still the same d by dom okay and uh, this time i'm going to be using x is equals to so i wanted to calculate from zero down to 12 so i'll be using zero then shift and uh semicolon exactly the sign right there then i have 12 um i have the size to be equals to 12 also and then i have our probability to be equals to one over two and this is the code that will help me fetch the values the probabilistic values from x is equals to zero down to x equals to 12 once i click on enter it gives me all of those values from this value right here down to the last value right here which is uh from zero down to 12. now i may want to visualize this like i did when i was using microsoft excel and when i was using spss all i have to do is to use a bar graph like i used earlier on and i can just type par which is the bar plot i click on this right here and not to stress myself i can just copy this code right here and uh, i paste the code into this i can just take this out then i click on enter and it gives me the bar graph that defines the chance of him scoring from 0 1 2 3 4 5 down to 12 penalties with a 50 percent chance of scoring individual penalties and as you can see we have the same shape that we had when we use microsoft excel and we also used spss so this is how we use the d binom to get individual probabilistic values and we also used a bar chart to actually visualize these probabilistic values okay now let's talk about the cumulative let's assume i'm interested in the chance that is going to be scoring at most three penalties that is actually a uh, probability that uh x you know is actually lesser than or equals to excuse me uh three so this is what i'm trying to see right here okay like i'm interested in this value so what i have to do is to use uh the p binom okay now instead of using x right i'll be using q so that q represents i'm trying to sum 
from zero down to three i have q is equals to three okay then i have my size right here to be equals to 12 i have my probability to be equals to one over two excuse me and then i will have to add uh, the lower tail lower than dot tail then i have to tell that to be equals to true and once i click on equals to it gives me the value so that is the probability that is going to be scoring at most three penalties so what if i want the values of him scoring at most zero penalties at most one penalties at most two penalties down to the chance that he's going to be scoring at most 12 penalties so that is cumulative probabilities from zero down to 12. all i have to do i can still copy this code okay i can copy this right here and uh, i paste it right here all i have to do is to start from zero and then use the semicolon sign erase the three and put 12 right here uh the size still remains the same the probability remains the same at the lower tail is equals to true and uh, i click on enter and it gives me all of the cumulative values of him scoring between zero and down to 12 penalties okay and then i can actually plot a bar chart to visualize this so i can actually say uh the bar the bar plot i click on this and then i can just copy this code instead of writing it all over again ctrl c and i just copy it right here okay then i click on enter and once you see we have uh, the, the cumulative uh binomial probabilities in terms of the bar chart it has been visualized and this is the same bar chart we had when we use ibm spss and when we use excel you might also want to use a scatter plot to visualize your data set all you have to do is to type scatter okay and uh, we have the scatter smooth and uh, you can just paste your code right here just like we did and uh, you know it gives you this as you can see the sh uh the shape is just like this okay so this is the uh, the scatter plot for the cumulative probabilities i can also have the scatter plot for the individual probabilistic value all i have to do is to copy this code and then i come to the scatter plot uh okay i click on that and ctrl v and it gives me this shape as you can see it's like a normally distributed data and this is how you can use r studio to actually model the concept of the binomial probabilities and the cumulative binomial probabilities attached to a specific event if you enjoyed this video and you actually learned something from this video i would really appreciate if you can give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this youtube channel do you have some questions for me or do you think i actually missed something please don't hesitate to go down to the comment section and drop your question i'll be willing and ready to answer all of them Thanks for making it to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.